All right, here in the Piedmont, we've had clouds all day and we've had some sprinkles and showers roll through. We go from this morning through the afternoon. And again, you can see the gray and every now and then you'll see something hitting that camera lens with some of the little showers that have come through from time to time. They have been very light for most of us. 54 degrees out there, 55 are high, 44 degrees are low. PTI, the airport has not recorded any measurable rain today. I know some of you have had a little bit more. Temperatures are in the mid 50s, pretty uniform from north to south and from east back to the western triad. Once we go in the western Piedmont and foothills though, it's low 50s, even near 50 up in the Wilkesboro's and 40s and low 50s in the mountains. You see on the radar what's going on where we have these little yellow pockets. That's where the rain's coming down a little harder in some of those areas of seeing some measurable rain. We widen our picture out and you'll see it streams back into Tennessee too. But most of everything that's being generated today is again very light and spotty. Not much to it. And as we go through the evening, rather quiet. Now, as we go through the day tomorrow, by later in the afternoon, you'll see some activity coming into the mountains that has a shot of coming through the Piedmont by late afternoon and early evening to give us some measurable rainfall. And then it retreats back to the north and is rather quiet. But as this frontal system comes in and waves of low pressure move along throughout the weekend, we'll be seeing periods with some rain here in the Piedmont. Let's take a look now as we go through Sunday, Saturday night into Sunday morning. You wake up Sunday morning, not a lot happening, but you can see what's knocking on the door and that starts coming in here by late morning and early afternoon. It looks like we're going to be getting wet. Then as we work our way toward late afternoon and into the evening, we get it back into a dry lull, dry lull. So that's good because maybe that's the time you've got some company coming over to watch the football game with you. And you don't want folks coming in the house soaking wet, dropping water on everything in your house, right? Well, I know at least that's what I heard at my house for years. And we'd have company over for the games and you can see again, we get a break. So that's good timing. But then there comes another round of rain that comes in overnight Sunday night into Monday morning and then on the backside a little bit of snow in the mountains. And if you look at the European model showing the same solution, so I think we're on to something there. Amounts of rain European model are now up over two inches up around two and a half. The American model is close to two inches, so both of them are saying it's going to be wet. Our beach forecast 68 and 69 degrees and partly cloudy skies. Small chance for a shower at the coast on Saturday. Mountains are looking at showers tomorrow in 60, and we're also looking at rain likely on Sunday with a high of 51. Here is your forecast now this evening. A few showers, 51 at 8 o'clock. Overnight, we're heading out to a low of only 48 and still some showers. Tomorrow, look for a high of 67. Again, scattered showers. I think much of them coming in late afternoon and early evening. And as we look at the seven day forecast, we got the high chances of rain on Sunday and Monday at 90%. 54 degrees on Tuesday and drying out and then drier and cooler weather mid 50s lows back in the low to mid 30s.